So this is the mechanical components of our nickel metals new recirculating system. So we have two separate systems here. That's why you see two different uh, water chilling units, two different pumps, and two different UV sterilizers. So the way that it works is this will take water from the incubation room and run it through the pump and the pump goes through the water chiller and the chiller chilled water will then go through the UV sterilizer to sterilize the water and then back through the incubating uh, eggs on the other side and it recirculates continuously that way. The, the advantage of being able to manipulate water temperatures we can manipulate the um, development time of our juvenile salmon so the, uh, the, the advantage of doing that is that we can have uh, we can predict what when we want to release fish and we don't want to release fish on top of wild fish that are leaving the system because we don't want our our hatchery raised fish to be out competing the wild fish so if we can delay development a little bit so that we can release fish after uh, the wild fish are out of the system, then uh, that benefits everybody. So this is the other side of um, the incubation process. So that water is comes from the pumps, chillers, UV sterilizer, back into this head tank, which will now flow uh, out of the head tank through the e-stack incubators and then back through the pump and recirculate this way. So all of these trays here will have salmon in them very shortly. Let's get some rain. So we might see Chinooks coming up the system within the next week or two. And then we'll start seeing Chum and Coho after that and um, into October and November.